You know, a lot of the engaged champions we cut out, you could just take the Rakan. Yeah, uh, I mean... Oh, looking towards the Poppy, something that can cancel the dashes of the Rel. But I think the Rakan makes more sense, so they will lock that in. Bolster by the Rakan and the Cassante as we are ready. Let's hop into the rip for game number one. I love this invade. And now, really, it comes down to the top side of BNK uh, Fear X to see if they can support an invade from Raptor. You can see that the pings come out from Raptor. He was looking as if he wanted to move in. Oh, Closer's getting in there. Cuz is here with red buff. Closer, uh, no jump, so he's just being poked down, and he has to flash two minutes into the game. Just trying to push that lead, not expecting Cuz to be there that early. We've seen a big change in Ziggs builds generally. You know, at first, people were just going for, oh, this is it. Leaper's in a lot of trouble. I mean, he's going to cleanse, but he also has to flash as another bomb is going to be thrown into him. And this trade is being taken right as Raptor is here. Raptor going to see the Nidalee, though, and put down his own ward. Maybe wants to try to get a smite still here after some of that pressure from bottom lane. Going to force the reset. Yeah, really good trades from BNK Fairex's bot lane, allowing Raptor to regain some control of the jungle matchup. He gets this, it's really big. Yeah, he almost certainly should. I mean, Cuz isn't even going near it, so yeah, just going to be able to get in and take the enemy blue buff away. Especially when you can play at such a, a safe distance against most picks. Oh no. Yeah, Claire just uh, exploring the river, and he's going to find a very angry cat there. CV Max was talking about that a lot after the, their loss against T1. Uh, might not get to talk about that too much, as the ult is going to hit closer, and the spear is going to sail wide, even though he was slowed. The closer just going to hop away after all that. And uh, Execute coming on over as well here, so he will be just fine after hitting level 6 himself. Yeah, oh, okay. Trying to start a fight now. I'm in Andal. Definitely a lot of mobility on that Rakan. Just getting in there and getting out for pretty much nothing. Meanwhile, uh, BNK Fear X are being pushed away. They also have Doodoo, the wave bounced in top lane. He's able to get that first. Fight freaking out. Yeah, they're going on in. Execute, though, trying to turn here on a Bulldog, but Raptor is super low. He's going to be the first one to go down. Bulldog should be traded, but they have to use so much to get him down, and Execute is left all alone, and Dusante is going to start off the game. With but uh, so far, I just feel like, you know, Bulldog's doing a good job, but bottom lane, having both the Summoners blown early, not so great. As meanwhile, now Raptor in a bit of trouble, going to eat a big spear to the face. And I'm not sure that they're going to get the blue buff again. A champion who can take a lot of damage when he gets CC'd. Uh, but as I say, not a, not a pick you typically associate with like fantastic, reliable setup. That's normally things like Nautilus, you know, the Renekton in Italy. But Andal doing a pretty good job of landing the CC here. Lane at this point in time. And I feel like BNK Fear X, this trio, the mid jungle support, are just so focused, dialed in on dodging skill shots. And fortunately, a lot of those landed. A uh, bit of poke on the execute, and obviously a long way away from that war mugs. But it really is for Quandar Freaks. It's about setting up, getting the poke, establishing vision so you can't see the poke coming to win out these plays. And Leaper is having a rough time. Yeah. Uh, another Q's going to land and ult online he here. He is going to arcane shift easily out of that, but it, it's still going to push him away as now. Look at this once again. In goes Raptor just following with a flash. They are very deep onto this one as now the Impale coming in. Big way ultimate, though, is going to take down the Rel and DeSante is just so oh. no tanky. Can anyone kill him? The answer is no as Bulldog just going to kill the rest of the enemy team as all the focus went on to the Fed Cassante and Quangon Freaks easy. Easily win the fight. Yeah, it's falling away in a big way. And uh big way? In a big way, yeah. Falling away as well. Um that is a big way. It's pretty big. Execute is level six and is desperately trying to build a war monks. That's the only item that supports can build. Um clear is just gonna throw in the impale, but he is being dove by three people, so I think eventually, yeah, they will just kill him under the turret, the impale not mattering too much. Closer, meanwhile is getting a free turret down on the bottom side. Look at that banana brush control right now for the Quantum Freaks. They're going to lock down. They have just the one control ward, but a couple other wards as well, just getting ready to fight over this one. Oh, and pole. yeah, I mean, again, Leaper wasn't even in the river. He just throws in an alt, pokes, execute down a half, who is level seven, very, you know, he doesn't have much money at this point in time, right? So 
See some damage done to the Dragon, but Execute and Raptor need to pull the trigger at some point, and it's closer over the wall to get it started. You see Raptor and Execute still, they're like, oh, I don't know, man, we can't go in at this point in time. A lot of damage being done there. From this, Ziggs gets a poke down on Leaper. The Dragon's getting lower and lower, though. The poke's still connecting. BNK Fairex is 5,000. Raptor might be looking for flash. Oh. Execute's flanking. Execute is just sending it. He's just going in there, and he's going to find Bulldog, who is in a bit of trouble now, as now we got two fights brewing here. Raptor tries to get the drink, but he can't. It's spite stolen away. And now Clear is being bullied here. Execute is going to go down. As now, Clear trying to set it up here, but that's Dusante once again. Andel has to flash away. They don't quite have the damage as Clear throws a rock and takes out the Rakan. Also, TP coming in. Bulldog wants some follow-up, but Quantum Freak's already got the Drake. And they're just trying to push them away here and maybe get some more value with this Rifter. Yeah, they will. Oh, Penna super low after that poke. They will be able to defend the tower. Smite comes through. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're just trying to control the river, but they don't really have a good option here. Andal's going to go in, as he does have Bulldog nearby. And that's a spear. Just the one spear. Good throw out the Nature's Grasp. Try to get something going on Andal, who is very caught, and they will be able to take him down. A lot of damage done into Raptor here on the follow-up, as well as Execute Closer, though. Says, hey, you don't have a front line. I can just jump into you. And, well, it, it kind of works there for a little bit. Now got to flash forward, but immediately just dies. And yeah, you, you heard my hesitation because I thought that was going to happen. And well, pushing a bit too far in any situation from behind, from ahead, doesn't really matter. Yeah. And closer, I think he feels the weight of, okay, you know, I'm in a good spot. I need to try to carry this one. And as now they're looking for Leaper, but he's got cleanse. And immediately the disengage comes in. Down will go the Maokai. And Andil does his job, provides that frontline. Bulldog wasn't even there, just got here. And, and that's 5v4 now. That's it. Jungler dead. It's an easy Hextech Dragon secure. The poke from Quantum Freaks is too threatening. Dudu's taking a bit of damage there, but I don't think he really cares. Once Dragon secures... They're trying to do both. He's trying to take the play. And they're and doing it. Yeah, I mean, they are, but now we got Leaper in a rough spot. He's going to go down, and this is getting real messy, as now the Cassante going to love to open up that back line here. Hannah desperate. He's like, please, someone help me. Down he will go, and that is an ace in favor of Quantum Freaks, plus the Hextech Soul. Good luck to your backline. Yeah, with four items. I mean, he got an early lead. He got those two kills in mid, and, you know, sometimes it could have been any champ, but it, it feels even more oppressive when it's Dusante. Oh, there he is. Look at the slow. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just going to kill them all. As that will go, execute. He is now legendary is the Cassante, and now oh just my. flashing on the Tristana, a Penta angle, but they're not going to give it to him. Kind of difficult to do on a melee champion anyway, but... Oh no, the uh, Zix! Yeah, the Zix is just dead. I mean, there's nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. And Clear is just, well, I guess I'm going to stop this mid lane from pushing in. But yeah, I mean, we talked about this five minutes ago. Quantum Freak's coming in, and now they're looking to actually end the game that they won quite a while ago. Yeah, and it's just super clinical game from Quantum Freaks. Uh, they got everything they needed to play the comp pretty much to perfection. I had some concerns about it. But I think this is just showing the difference in level of execution between these two teams right now. BNK Fairex for four kills the tower, and that was it. You know, they are firmly in control. You can very easily sort of waver with a composition like this and fall off in those sort of mid-game points. They definitely got to the point where it was insurmountable.